Hello, this is the Napco GMP9600 alarm system and in this video I will show you how to connect the MDM communicator to the panel and how to program a wizard keypad address for the keybus functionality. Starting with the wiring of our communicator, we have the red wire which is our aux positive wire that goes to the power positive terminal of the alarm panel. Then we have the black wire which is our aux negative wire that goes to the power negative terminal of the alarm panel. The next two wires we have are the orange and white. The orange is our output wire and that goes to the keypad green terminal of the alarm panel. The white wire is our input wire and that goes to the keypad yellow terminal of the alarm panel. The last two wires we are using are the green and yellow wires. The green wire of our communicator is our telco ring wire and that goes to the telco ring terminal of the alarm panel. The yellow wire is our telco tip wire and that goes to the telco tip terminal of the alarm panel. The next step in the setup of the Napco alarm system is programming it for the wizard keypad address. So in order to go into the programming of the system, I need to enter my six digit installer code which is 542820 and then press menu button and press bypass till I see activate program. I'm going to press enter to go into the programming mode and then if I want to go to the address programming of the system, I will need to press the reset button. And then I'm going to go to the first keypad address that I need which is 2426. This is the first keypad address that our device is looking for, so I'm going to set it up as a wizard keypad for partition one. I'll set that and then press menu, and then I'm going to the second address that I'm going to use for partition two, which is 2427. Once again, I'm going to set it up as a wizard keypad, but this time I'm going to set it up for partition 2. I'm going to press enter and save, then I'm going to press the menu button and reset in order to go out of the programming of the panel. Once I'm out of the programming, I can start the synchronization process from the R-Control application. I will press sync with the panel. And now the R control application will prompt me to go into the programming of the panel and go through the programming sections for the wizard keypad addresses and for the zones. I press OK. And once again, I'm going to enter my six digit installer code 542820 and then I'm going to press the menu and then press bypass till I find the activate program. Then I'll press enter and then press reset button in order to go to the address programming. The first section I'll go to is 2426. That's for the first address that I want to use. Then I'm going to press the menu button. Then I'm going to go to 2427. That's for the secondary address. Now the last thing that I need to do is see what kind of zones I have in Partitions 1 and Partition 2. So I'll press the menu button and then press 1244 which will show me all the zones in Area 1. If I want to see the zones in Area 2, I will press the menu button then press 1245 and that will show me the zones in Area 2. Then to go out of the programming I will press the reset button and that will take me out of the programming. In the meantime, the MDM communicator has read the configuration of the panel and in just a moment we should be able to see the buttons for arming and disarming. Okay, now that the radio is done reading the configuration of the panel, you can see the buttons for partition 1 and partition 2 that I have on my phone. To arm the system in the away mode, 
I will slide the button to the left and then I will enter my PIN code, which is 123. And now my system is armed in the away mode. If I want to disarm the system, I will slide to the middle and enter 123. and that will disarm the system.